Brothers and sisters, we are living in times of great significance. In these moments, when nature itself seems to rise up against us, we must recognize the deeper truths behind these physical signs. Hurricane Milton is not just a storm. It is a warning, a prophetic message from heaven delivered to us through a vision granted to Mirjana in Medjugorje. Our Lady, the Blessed Mother, has revealed that this storm is far more than a meteorological event. It is a spiritual summons, an urgent call to return to God before it is too late. I address you now with a message of utmost urgency. This is not a time to be passive, nor is it a time to take comfort in fleeting distractions. The storm approaching our shores is a symbol of the greater storm that is already upon us, the storm of our own spiritual neglect. In her vision, Our Lady spoke of a time when the hearts of men would turn away from God, and the consequences of that rejection would manifest in the physical world. She warned, A great storm will arise, a storm like none you have known. Its winds will carry the warnings of heaven, for you have forgotten your ways and the voice of my son. Hurricane Milton, a storm of unprecedented strength, will grow even more powerful than any before it. It has defied the expectations of weather experts, swelling from a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane in mere hours. But this rapid intensification is no accident. It is a sign, a reflection of the spiritual disorder that exists in the hearts of many. Our Lady has revealed that Milton's path will be as unpredictable as the hearts of those who have turned away from God's light. Just as the storm will not follow the expected trajectory, so too have we, as a people, veered off the path of righteousness. This storm is not merely a test of our physical preparedness, but a test of our spiritual readiness. Its course will bring destruction to places that have already been weakened by previous storms. Cities and towns that still bear the scars of Hurricane Helene will once again face nature's wrath. Only this time the stakes are even higher. Tampa Bay, Fort Myers, and Orlando are all in the crosshairs of Hurricane Milton, and the devastation they suffered from Helene will pale in comparison to what is coming. Our Lady's words were clear. What was not rebuilt will be destroyed, and what was rebuilt on weak foundations will crumble. Hurricane Milton's path is as erratic as the storm itself. It has already shifted directions multiple times, confounding meteorologists and causing widespread confusion. But this unpredictability is no accident. It is a reflection of the spiritual state of our nation. Its path will be as unpredictable as the hearts of men who have strayed from the truth, Our Lady warned. The storm will not adhere to the normal patterns of hurricanes. It will strike with fury where least expected, catching many off guard. Tampa Bay, still reeling from Hurricane Helene's devastation, will once again face the full force of nature's wrath. The storm surge is expected to reach heights never before seen, with water levels rising up to 12 feet in some areas. Entire neighborhoods could be submerged, and the damage to infrastructure could be catastrophic. But this is not merely a physical event, it is a spiritual one. Fort Myers, another city that suffered greatly from Helene, will also be in Milton's path. The winds, which are expected to reach speeds of up to 150 miles per hour, will tear through the city, leaving destruction in their wake. The debris from Helene will become deadly projectiles, carried by the storm's fury. But again, this physical destruction is only part of the story. Orlando, a city that has been relatively spared in recent storms, will also face Hurricane Milton's wrath. The heavy rains are expected to cause flash floods, turning streets into rivers and overwhelming the city's drainage systems. But the rains are more than just a physical phenomenon. They are a symbol of the flood of sin that has washed over our nation. Pinellas County, where many lost their lives during Hurricane Helene, is once again at great risk. The debris from the previous storm has not yet been cleared, and it will become a deadly weapon in the hands of Milton. Our Lady has warned that this is a symbol of the unresolved spiritual debris in our own lives. Just as the physical debris will become dangerous projectiles, 
so too will the unresolved sins and unhealed wounds of our hearts become weapons of destruction in our spiritual lives. Tampa, too, will face devastation beyond anything it has ever known. The storm surge will inundate the city, and the winds will tear through buildings and homes. But this is not just a physical catastrophe, it is a spiritual one. Our Lady has revealed that the storm surge is a symbol of the flood of sin that has washed over our nation. Just as the waters will rise and cover the land, so too has sin risen and covered the hearts of many. This is a call to repentance, a call to turn back to God before it is too late. The Florida Keys, still in the process of rebuilding after Hurricane Helene, will once again face nature's fury. The islands are vulnerable, and the storm will bring torrential rains and destructive winds that could erase entire neighborhoods. But the vulnerability of the islands is a reflection of our own spiritual vulnerability. Our Lady has warned that those who have built their lives on worldly desires and material comforts will find themselves unprotected when the storms of life come. We must turn back to God and build our lives on the solid foundation of faith. Brothers and sisters, now is the time to act. We must prepare for this storm, not only in practical ways but also in spiritual ways. Our Lady has called upon us to prepare our homes and our families for the physical storm, but more importantly, she has called upon us to prepare our hearts for the spiritual storm. Do not wait until the winds are upon you, she said. Prepare now, for the time is short. In practical terms, this means securing your homes, gathering supplies, and being ready to evacuate if necessary. But in spiritual terms, it means much more. It means examining our lives, repenting of our sins, and turning back to God with sincere hearts. No amount of physical preparation will protect us if we are not spiritually prepared. Prayer is our greatest defense. Our Lady has called upon us to pray without ceasing, for it is through prayer that we will find protection and peace in the midst of the storm. We must pray for those in the storm's path, for the conversion of hearts, and for the mercy of heaven. The physical storm is a reflection of the spiritual battle that is already raging. Our prayers will call down the mercy of God and protect us from the worst of the storm's destruction. Even in the face of such a terrible storm, there is hope. Our Lady's message is not one of despair but of redemption. Hurricane Milton, though it brings destruction, is also an opportunity for renewal. Just as the flood in Noah's time was not the end but a new beginning, so too can this storm be a moment of renewal for those who heed the call to repentance. Do not be afraid, for those who turn to my Son will be saved. Brothers and sisters, the time is short. The storm is coming, but there is still time to prepare. Let us turn back to God, seek His mercy, and place our trust in Him. Pray, repent, and prepare, for the days ahead are uncertain. But with God, all things are possible. The storm may rage, but His protection is our refuge. Let us heed this prophetic warning and find safety in his arms. The time to act is now.